So how many of you believe that there's only one way to heaven? Amen. That Jesus is that one and only way. Amen. That religion cannot save you. That your good works cannot save you. That your baptism cannot save you. I mean, just go down the list. Well, there's a lot of people out there that don't know that. And if you don't sound the trumpet and they die believing what they believe, where are they going? Now, it's their rejection of Christ, but the blood just might be on your hands because you didn't warn them. So you, know, I, you know, I know my grandpa. He's not going to get saved. And I appreciate Brother Jacob. He's three times now tried to reach his grandfather. You know, it's, family's the hardest ones to reach, isn't it? They're the hard, I could knock on a stranger's door any day of the week. But when it comes to someone you know, co-worker, a family member, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, I, I've been there just as you, trying to, you know what you need to say, but you can't even get the conversation started. <clears throat> it's hard. But if you don't warn them, and they die believing what they believe and end up in hell, well, ultimately it's their rejection of Christ. But who stands before the Lord with blood on their hands? Because I wonder if they would have listened if someone would have told them. But the Bible says if they didn't listen, hey, it's their own fault. They were warned, they rejected, it's their own fault. He says, verse 6, But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take, away, take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. He's saying, oh, it's their own fault. He's saying, oh, don't think there's innocent people being cast into hell. It's their own fault. But there's going to be a guilty person, and it's going to be that watchman who knew better and said nothing. Now, don't tell me that we're supposed to not say anything because we love everybody. Because the Bible's saying here, if we love them, we're going to warn them. If we care enough, about, I mean, do you truly believe the Bible? Do you really believe that there is a hell that people will spend eternity in? Then be the ambassador that God has asked you to be.